shall we pray? Uh, before I pray, I want to read a scripture in Revelation chapter 19, verse 6. Then I heard what sounded like a great multitude, like the roar of rushing water. Shouting, Hallelujah, for our Lord God Almighty reign, and give him glory, for the wedding of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made us fine linen, bright and clean, was given her to wear. Fine linen stands for the of the saints. Human history starts with a wedding of Adam and Eve and ends with the wedding of Jesus Christ and his bride. I was lo looking at Joshua here and uh, I was imagining the Lord Jesus Christ waiting for us as we would march in. Think about that day as we pray and enter into this time that all of us here will be part of that wedding. Tell your neighbor, I don't want you to miss that wedding. Father, I want to thank you so much for the joy of the wedding. Lord, you've given us a foretaste of what heaven would look like. Because all of us will be this bride, like Joanne, marching forward to meet you as Joshua is meeting Joanne this morning. Father, we are asking that today your joy will be with us. Your presence will be with us in the person of the Holy Spirit. When you attend the wedding, there is joy. When you attended one in Cana, whatever was lacking, you supplied. Supply us with the abundant joy this morning. Let, us, let our hearts be filled with that joy. And especially think about your wedding. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your grace in our midst. And your anointing on this too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Rele. At this moment, join me to welcome an international evangelist all the way from Ohio, USA, who is the main celebrant of this wedding. This is none other than Pastor Peter Dozek. Surely this is the day that the Lord hath made been in his plans and his purposes from the foundation. Joshua, will you please take your bride and step forward? Brothers and sisters, before we are seated, I would like for you to understand that as God's plan and God's purpose today, you as congregants have been invited to become a part of a lifelong covenant, a covenant that will transform these two individuals as well as this nation. This is something that God has ordained. It is a holy consecration one to another. We should always remember that this is a covenant of honor and respect one to another. It has been employed by God himself. Before sin ever came into the earth, God encouraged Adam and Eve to come together and to be one. Jesus Christ himself respected the wedding feast. When he attended a wedding feast in Canaan of Galilee, his first miracle was performed there. The Apostle Paul said, We should not be quick to marry, just to satisfy our sexual desires, however, that they should approve and wisdom and devotion, fearing God above all. Bear in mind 
that the proper reasons for marriage is as God commanded. Number one, marriage is a place of reproduction of children that they would be taught in the admonition and the nurture of the Lord and to glorify God himself. Secondly, to prevent immorality, adultery, according to 1 Corinthians 7, 9. And that it's better to marry than to burn with passion. Thirdly, marriage has been recommended for fellowship, supporting and encouraging one another as husband and wife through the hardships and through the successes of life. As we come together today, this is a day planned by God. Can you imagine how special that is, Joshua? Doing how God took his time to dream of this moment for you and you to become one. God has a plan for your life. If there is anyone that has anything to say that would oppose the union of this marriage, you now have that opportunity to do so. If either one of you have a reason that you should not be joined together in this marriage, please voice it now. You may all be seated. Since there was no one that opposed, then we understand that these people have entered in to a place of friendship and strength to this covenant. We are now committed to the success of this covenant. We are here as support. We are here as encouragers. We are here to point you back one to another. We will not be judge and jury. We will not declare right or wrong. We will simply point you back to the foundation of your union one with another. And that is your union and the foundation of Jesus Christ as your personal saviors. As you have joined yourself here together, you have declared that you are part of the family of God, openly declaring that you are ready to accept God's gift one for another. Joshua, did you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and have you received the Holy Ghost? Joanne, have, did you receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and receive the Holy Ghost? Upon that open confession, I now remind you that God's plan is for your life and that at this point in time, God will put you in a community he will put you in a community where you will bear witness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So that you may testify of him that whether we are in your house or out of your house, we may bear witness of your good works in your community. You are becoming stronger than you have ever been. You are becoming more powerful than you have ever been. You are becoming more valuable than you have ever had, have been before. And your voice is regaining strength to be heard by the nations this day. Groomsmen, did you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? And have you received the Holy Ghost? Yes, we have. Would you please give her the microphone? Have you received Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? And have you received the Holy Ghost? Yes, I have. Thank you. Will you please turn and face one another?
Was he here? Is the brother here? Is he here? Is he here? Okay. You are here to give the bride to a husband that will love her, care for her, cherish her, protect her, and become one and be a dream helper and fulfiller and not a hinderer. Do you this day give that authority? Joshua? Upon the receiving of this Joshua, you accept right now the authorization and the enablement of God to be someone you have never been. Today your name changes. Today your authority changes. Today the element of blessing and increase changes. Today your name changes. Today your identity becomes one with your husband. Today you become a woman. Today you become a wife that is united by God in the eyes of heaven and the, in the eyes of this nation. Joshua, do you take this woman as your wife in marriage to live together in holiness as it was commanded by God? Will you love her and will you respect her? Will you keep her in all situations, living with her only for the rest of your life or until Jesus Christ comes back? I do. Joanne, do you accept to take this man as your husband in marriage, to live together in holiness as it was commanded by God? Will you love him? Will you respect him? Will you keep him in all situations, living with him only for the rest of your life or until Jesus Christ comes back? Yes, I do. Now, will you please look at one another? Joshua, will you, will you please raise the veil? Yes, I'd say, woo, too. Joshua, will you, will you please repeat these words after me? Today, I, Joshua, Daniel, Sinyanga. Today, I, Joshua, Daniel, Sinyanga. Take you, Joanne Rhonda Luwaga. Take you today, Joanne Rona to be my wife to be my wife to have and to hold to have and to hold from this day forward from this day forward for better or for worse for better or for worse for richer for poorer for richer or for poorer in sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and to cherish till death do we part till death do us part or until Jesus comes back. Or until Jesus comes back. According to God's holy law. God, according to God's holy law. I declare this vow. I declare this vow. Joanne, will you please repeat these words after me? I, Joanne Rhonda Luwaga. I, Joanne Rhonda Luwaga. Take you, Joshua Daniel Sinyanga. Take you, Joshua Daniel Sinyanga. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poorer. For 
For richer or poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do we part. Till death do we part. Or until Jesus comes back. Or till Jesus comes back. According to that's holy law. Declare this vow. I declare this vow. May I please have the rings? You have chosen today a symbol of endless love. Let them say. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You have chosen these circles of a symbolism of endless love. Believe it or not, though they have been crafted by craftsmen, they are right now at their weakest point. They could be formed, they could be molded, but once it's placed on your finger, it becomes stronger than it's ever been. Because that which is on the inside strengthens and supports that which is on the outside. This will be a symbolism to you, Joanne, that there is a man that believes in you. There is a man that believes in your dreams. He has confidence in you. He believes that out of a million people, God led you to him. For some unknown reason, as you pass by, he felt something in his heart. He fell in love. Though he thought it was by chance, it was really by divine appointment. And God brought you together. Never doubt how valuable you are to him. Never doubt how much he cares for you. Never doubt that today he made a choice above all others. Will you please give this to Joshua? Put this and say these words, Joshua. God, that by these rings, bonded by these rings, I, I do give, do give, Joanne, Joanne, a symbol of my unending, in unending love, a symbol of my unending love, my faithfulness, my faithfulness, and that they will be the words, and that they will be the words. Behind this covenant. Behind this covenant. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Joshua, some men have called this a prison. Some men have thought that this was the end of joy. That it would bring them into a place that they would be bound. But it's not that at all. Anytime that you go through life, have a struggle. People don't believe in you. They think your dream will fail. They think that you've come to the end of yourself. There's nothing else he can do. There's not an encouraging word in the world. Look at this ring. And remember what it says to you today. I, Joanne, believe in you, Joshua. I am here. My strength is your strength. My wisdom is your wisdom. My counsel is your counsel. There is no greater safety than someone at home that believes in you. Joanne, will you please place this upon his finger? And say, I, Joanne, I, Joanne, do now receive you, Joshua, do now receive you, Joshua, with the symbol of this ring. With the symbol of this ring. 
It is a symbol of unending love and faithfulness. It is a symbol of unending love and faithfulness. And it reminds me of the covenant that we have made today. And it reminds me of the covenant that we have made today. Through Jesus Christ. Through Jesus Christ. These symbolisms. These symbolisms. Will not fade. Will not fail. They will be strong. They will be strong. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Now you want to speak? Does he want to say something? Joanne, today we've said the holy vows, but I too want to make some promises to you in front of everybody who is supporting us and everybody watching. I promise to be a husband that loves you forever. No matter what circumstances come our way, because they will come, I will always be on your side. I will never leave you. And that's set me apart. In front of everybody I say, I will always be faithful. I will always be faithful, John. And as we grow and as we mature, even though the love may be different, it will never fade. And as we change, our love for each other and our love for God will never change. And as we grow old, I'm excited that I get to grow old with you. And when we have kids, I will love them, cherish them, take care of them, provide for them, and for the household. I love you. I can't believe we are actually doing this. That I'm here to marry my best friend is the abs the and the absolute love of my life may be the mess the next best miracle after the resurrection of Jesus. <laughs> You're the most handsome and beautiful person I've ever seen, and it's not just because of the world's greatest smile or those cute eyes. It's because of the way you love and care for me and others, how you carry yourself, serve God and his people selflessly lead and preach your essence is so intentional and genuine i'm so blessed to be your partner joshua thank you thank you for shaping my full, my past four years and filling them with what a beautiful life is made of we have laughed prayed cried battled, danced, adventured, and lived such a full life together. I'm excited that now we get to walk in tandem for the rest of our lives. If someone had told me the first day I met you that we would be here today, <laughs> Debbie, Debbie did for the record. Yeah. I would have called them a crook. I'm the happiest girl. You have loved me in ways I never imagined possible. You have fought for me. You have carefully and prayerfully guarded our love and helped me navigate some of the most difficult, ugly, broken parts of my life. You are the ultimate gift from God, my first and last love. We stand here obviously because of God, but we also stand here because we ne you never gave up. We never gave up. Besides, you're the only man <laughs> Mama Jo and Debbie ever approved of. I can't wait to grow old with you. To have kids with your 
head. <laughs> and my jawline. <laughs> to travel together and spread the word of, of God and his love all over the world. When I look at you, I see a resilient, unique, humble, grounded man. I also see a man that God has chosen to be an heir for this generation. I'm amazed by how God loves his people through, how, through your hunger and determination to see them freed and saved. Today, before our closest friends, relatives, well wishes, and those on the, fe on the fence, and most importantly, before our Heavenly Father, who has brought our hearts in purity all this while, I express my love and commitment to you. As we begin in the great adventure of building a godly home, may God be the leader and guide of our home. May be He be the anchor and center of our being, our fortress, our shield, in whom we'll always take refuge and seek grounding. As your wife, I vow to continue to respect and appreciate you for the person you are and wish to become. I will to uplift you. To uplift you and wait with you in moments of drought and storm and support and celebrate you in days of sunshine and rain. To listen to you and seek counsel for you. I will stand with you prayerfully, physically, emotionally you with compassion and understanding. I vow to fiercely love you and protect you forever. I love you, Joshua. And I'm ready to be your wife. <laughs> now in obedience to the law of this country, Uganda, before Almighty God and you as congregants here today. Because Joshua and Joanne have given their consent for marriage, making vows, and each presenting rings one to another, that this congregation has acknowledged that the joining of their hands, I declare to be the husband and wife of each other in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Yes. What God has joined together, let no man divide asunder. Now, John, yes, will you please turn and face the congregation? Do I get to tell them that? <laughs> Do you want to kiss your bride? Is that what you want? Oh. She's getting ready. Joshua, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Now will you please turn and face the congregation. I now present to you Mr. Joshua and Mrs. Joanne Siyanga. You're going to have the ministers and the parents come up? Okay. You want to announce that to them? Or you want me to tell them? Now, we open up to the couple that the parents and the ministers here will come and bless this young couple. <laughs> 